Hey guys, uh, I knew the expansion, playing some Zoo. Zoo's really on top of it. You guys don't need to hear me always saying Zoo is awesome. Uh, I'm always saying Zoo is great, and it's actually probably the best deck in the game right now. But instead of just doing a normal guide, I wanted to show you guys some games where I threw. Uh, I did really bad plays um, that either cost me the game or could have cost me the game. Um, and they're actually painful for me to watch. Uh, but I kind of want to just show you guys um, and kind of talk about the misplays. So I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. I'm just going to go a little bit fast. I'm going to go three times speed. Um, I keep double dark glare because I like doing these raised dead plays. Um, but I don't have one drop, so that's a disadvantage. Um, but I decide to play the second dark glare anyways here. Here I go tap first, um, and then I go with a flame up here to get for free, and then I play the dark layer. You can't play the dark layer first. Um, and I get a great top deck uh, the next turn. I handle Gladon, and I immediately go Nitrate Matron. And it would have been much better, one, to tap first. Um, tapping first just gives us a free card. And two, Expired Merchant would have been a lot better there. And I want to kind of talk about why I did that um on a wide level and the reality is sometimes you're on autopilot and you have preferred plays and you kind of are like kind of say i like to call i think people say kind of um hover what's the word where you're kind of zoomed in you just can't you can't see anything else um uh but i just was thinking oh i'm going nightshade i had kept nightshade or i had nightshade for a while expired merchant kind of come out recently i get that nightshade seems natural expired merchant with a tap, uh, I could have, you know, played a, potentially a lot more things here. Um, maybe gotten into Wicked Whispers down. It would have been a lot stronger of a play, uh, but I didn't do that. And that's just kind of a spot where you just get kind of one. You get a new play that kind of opens up to you. You have a good play, but you had a better play. Um, and this is, you know, anyone can do this. I kind of immediately realized after I did it, I'm like, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. Uh, you can see here, you can see here, I'm very, or, uh, you can't see actually, I think my face is covering. I'm very angry about my play, calling myself an idiot. Uh, I'm intentionally muting because uh, I'm hating myself and I don't want to share this with you guys. But uh, yeah, bottom line is I messed up um, and I could have had a lot more, but guess what? Never unlucky. Uh, I go this. Ba bam ba bam ba bam ba bam ba bam ba bam We do a bunch of stuff and we're gonna win anyways. Uh I play this, play this, full board, bam, easy. So uh you know that one I didn't get punished, but that was a very big mistake. Um so yep. I think the very next game yeah, I oh I oh this game I make a huge mistake and I realize it as soon as I do. So we start off here with a normal hand uh, kind of uh, against this. And we actually have a really good hand having Dark Lair uh, plus Spirit Jailer here. Um, I go single Dark Lair, Spirit Jailer here. Um, and this is a great top deck. We're in a great spot because um, it's good to have these three. They do this. Uh, I decide to go tap here. I don't want to play the Dark Lair quite yet. And they do a clear here, you can see. Um, but it's fine. We got stuff to go. And we have two Flesh Giants now. We're in a really good spot. So I, I go Dark Lair. I tap first. Um, play this. Play two of these bad boys. And... They do this. Um... They play this Sandwich Watcher. Um, and I'm going bam. Uh, I play the Nightshade. I'm going greedy. I hit all the, the fragments. We're, we're seeing the Mirage. And I decide to trade trade here. And I position it absolutely horribly. Um, and you can see here. Let me see if I can get it. I have all my big minions together. Um, and sometimes this is a good thing, uh, but uh, certain classes. So I have a habit of playing Flesh Chance on the right 
uh, because of Solmir, because if they have a minion, but not. But I put all my big minions together here. Um, and I immediately am like, oh, wow, this is dumb. If they have, if they, I literally call if they have double morgue, the one mana damage guy and the one mana heal, they can kill all these and heal. Um, this like, because I really should have put, like, so I did this. I should put one flesh giant on the right, one flesh giant on the left. I could put these there and they would not be able to kill, uh, they would only be able to kill one big thing. Um, and if I positioned it correctly, but I messed up and it costs me big time. Um, you can see here what they do. I could have done this, put one flesh giant there, one flesh giant there. Um, and bam. Oh, right, let's, let's, let's go back. It's painful. Uh, but yeah. Morg, Morg, Ethereal Aug Merchant, and I am sad. I am sad, and I hate myself. Um, but it happens, and I even do like a little mantra because I'm throwing, where I say everyone makes mistakes. The important thing is learn mistakes. Blah 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 blah. You know, I know I have to do that. I used to play poker, and I would make mistakes that sometimes were just natural mistakes, but they would cost me thousands of dollars sometimes, um, and that really would hurt. Uh, but this mistake didn't really cost me much. It actually is kind of good content. So maybe so, but the reality is, uh, it can be very painful to make these kind of mistakes. And, uh, I'm going to kind of go a little bit ahead, but show you, we end up, they, they clear, they clear, and we end up losing this game. Very sad, very sad. Um, so, uh, the mistake there was I needed to position my way against soul DH in a way to make fell screen blasts uh, not as easy and it was a spot where I really should have known that but this is something now I can address of like okay because I need to get this in my autopilot positioning against fell screen blast like I need to be always thinking about that so if I'm playing against a uh, a a OTK DH I need to be thinking about that every single turn like where do I put my stuff to make their uh, if they have a high roll fell screen blast to make it awkward, to make it not good for them. Um, and let's go forward a few games. We hit a priest. And, you know, good starting hand. Keep the hand to down. Nightshade. Um, I go Voidwalker on one. I could consider going this to, to buff them both up. But I want to be able to go coin Nightshade on three. That's very valuable. They do the Sephir play. I do this, I decide to trade with the 2-4, protect the 5-5, five, five. I think it's more valuable. They do this play, punished, not a big deal. Um, and I do this big wombo, pow very powerful play here. Um, trade this off, develop board, very good spot to be in here. Um, they do this. And so there's a spot where um, I believe they went raised dead here, and uh, they guaranteed have a Zephyr, and I forgot about this. Um, uh, which was a mistake. Um, I should have been thinking about this. Um, so we know they have a Zephyr, and I trade this in, and uh, this five five into this two two here. Um. So, but the problem with trading this five five into this two two is it gives them Zephyr Shadow Flame, which is a very natural play for them to do. Um, I do buff up these guys, which is really nice. Uh, so my autopilot is a good little there. But I really need to be thinking about three damage to everything here. That's very likely. Um, so I would have liked if I had instead traded the 5-3, traded maybe these two 1-3s into the 2-2, two, two, um, and then buffed these two up. So then if they go Zephyr Shadow Flame, well, I have a 5-1, a 3-1, and a 3-1. Um, and that would be 6-11 uh, damage. Um, so it makes us a lot closer to getting lethals here. Um, you can see here they do go Zephyr Shadow Flame. Um, it's rather unfortunate. Uh, it's still looking okay here, um, but uh, it ends up a spot where. Um, so if you guys are wondering, I do uh, hold one back here to play around Solmir, um, but they would be at just a little bit less life here um, if I had not gotten that right, uh, and just that little bit of incremental damage. Uh, I feel like could have easily won us the game here. Um, you know, I think they would be at they'd be at one life here, so we wouldn't be quite there. Um, they ended up doing this play. Uh, this is another spot I could have gone something like a broom there 
and traded that off. I don't think I think it's reasonable not to play around this. But yeah, this was kind of a mistake that you know when you're playing with inches against priests and trying to go for lethal, that five damage and that little bit of extra pressure there could have mattered a lot. Um, so that was kind of the three uh, kind of mis big mistakes I made. Zoo is really hard. It's really complex. So if you're making mistakes, I'm making them with you. And I'm a very good Zoo player. Uh, but it's really good to go back uh, and kind of analyze and talk about your mistakes. Um, and just kind of, so there are uh, different kinds of mistakes. So uh, when I'm coaching people, uh, we work on what we call, from, this is a concept from the Jared Tendler's The Mental Game of Poker. You have A-game mistakes, kind of working on improving your A-game, where it's like stuff you don't really realize you're making. They're kind of things you're very new to you, you're working on. And then C-game mistakes are just things that you kind of already know. So if you keep reading the tap first or something like that, you've been told that, you've learned that, but it hasn't really imbued in your unconscious so that you have to can work on that you can work on improving your top end like doing new plays a way to work on your a game might be watch other streamers and like learn oh here's a play i wouldn't do but sometimes uh you've learned too much and you have to actually work on just mastering the things you already know uh so this is kind of a thing of a lot of these things i kind of already knew i knew raise dead get, they, they only play two minions but it really wasn't quite all the way to my subconscious i wasn't thinking about oh i could deal three damage to everything there so uh, those are kind of just three mistakes. So yeah, hope that was helpful for you guys um, and enjoy.